Good morning guys, I have a lovely video for you today. Um, it's my little flower pot envelope tutorial. So what I've done, I've made some little flower pot envelopes like this and I've just decorated them with little punched out flowers which I've punched out from all my scrap bits of paper from my scrap box. Um, so you can use up all, so this one is quite multicoloured. So you can use up all your little bits of scrap paper, whether they're tiny, tiny little bits. Um, so it all can be used up. And what they are, they're just little envelopes. Got a little pocket in there, so you can pop little bits and pieces. And I thought these were lovely if you're doing um, a nice flower or botanical sort of little um, journals. Um, I'm in the middle of making another little envelope one here, my little pocket pack and I wanted something to go in the pocket so I just thought that looks so pretty so that goes over the top and sits in there so I thought that looks so nice and then I've also got this one's got lots of little pockets in so I just wanted something that looked a little bit different to pop in the pocket and it looks like a little flower pot so now I thought they look really sweet so fun to do and so easy as you know all my projects are um, all made out of sort of like one piece of paper so this one's got sort of like a um, little bow on here and I've actually decorated the bottom of the pot um, and then here I've actually just sort of like inked the edges here and here so if you leave a light bit in the middle it sort of gives the illusion of a pot um, here look so I'll show you how you do that this one here I popped this is, um, I've actually backed this with some book paper again, um, so this is a little bit sturdier, this is a little bit harder, um, and I've popped a little dingly dangly on there. Um, and this one I've actually got some little, um, it's like pearls in there, it's like pearls on a little string which I've popped on there, I've got a little butterfly and I've got some little um, stick on pearls and little bits of bling in there, so that's a pretty one isn't it? So, and then this is the one that I started off with. This is my first one, um, which was just like an envelope. Um, but it just needed that just little top bit. So I've just put a little round bit on here, look. Um, half a circle on there, just to give it, lift it up so you've got that nice um, rounded top. Um, so there we go. So, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how we do these. Pop those over there. This is my little packet of just popped out um, flowers in here look um, so I'll show you all those and these are all the punches that I've used so I've got my butterfly punch I've got little flower punches so just pick up all your little flower punches that you've got and just randomly go through all your scrap bits of paper um, and then you can this one's lovely this punch um, this one I bought um, from a lady that was selling off stuff so I wouldn't know where she got them from so this is just says floral punch um, and you punch this out first and then you pop it in there and it makes it into a nice little shape so it gives it some dimension and that's this little one which which is lovely for Christmas it looks like little bits of um, holly leaves on there um, the shape of those so it just gives it a little bit of dimension on there so they're really pretty so I'll pop those to the side so I've got some little bits of lace as well and some um, cheesecloth which I've dyed. Okay, so we start off with one piece of paper which is the A4 um, tea stained um, printer paper. So this is, I think it was 8.5 by 11 or something like that. It's just your printer paper. So what I do, you can get two flower pots out of this. So I fold up the bottom, I did do a template and it just got so confusing and stuff and I thought it would be so much easier um, to do it like this. So what we're doing, we're folding up this bit here, okay, to make this first flower pot flap, okay. So depending on how big you want it, I've just folded it up. Now let me get my rulers, see what that is roughly. So I've roughly folded it up three and a half inches, okay, and then I'm going to just fold down a lip like that, 
so it just folds down so if you're going to put things inside it just stops it ripping so it's not it's not so um, fragile here um, so so that's that bit okay so that's only just a little bit just to whatever size slip you want and then what we want to do is fold this over so leave a little gap here just like making the envelopes and we fold it down okay so we've got that so this is our flap okay i'm going to cut that down in a minute anyway i'm going to take my little cutter and then i'm going to cut it three and i think it was let me just check what did we do it yeah three and a half inches here okay so i've cut that down three and a half inches and then what i'm going to do i'm going to cut this down here so this is the flap because we want this extra bit to make the little circle so then i do this so if we get to the edge there i did it like one and three quarters down so then we've got a nice little flap to do the um decorating on and then this extra bit here is what we're going to do a circle on to stick on here and all as i did for that was get like double-sided tape pop that round like that and draw around it and then just cut it out so you just draw around that make a little circle and you stick that on top so let me just cut that out so you can just cut it out as any doesn't have to be it fancy at all because we're going to cover it up anyway okay and that just sticks on there like that right to get the the shape of the flower pot so now we've got like a little envelope okay all as i've done i've gone in here let me just move this out okay. i've just measured in this side half an inch okay so we want to go in half an inch here and then i'm going to mark that off there and then half an inch on this side which is there okay and then what i'm going to do i'm going to go from this corner here this is where we fold it over i found the easiest way to do it is bend that back over that way okay and go from that corner here to the half inch in and this is the bit that we want to cut off okay and then again on the other side down there all the way to the top up there so then we've just measured in half an inch here and then you just go to the corner all right so that's the corner of your flap not the corner of the top of the page but the corner of the top of the flap because this one needs to come down and fold over so all as we do then get our scissors cut that piece off up to the top like this and then we've got our flower pot shape there we go easy peasy okay so then it's exactly the same look and then this piece just sticks on the top like that this gets covered up so it doesn't really matter what i'm going to do i'm going to ink it first let me move all this out the way so then we've got another one there so you can do two out of one piece of paper and you can do a bigger one you can do them as big as you like because it's just like making an envelope um so let's just ink the edges so let's just do this bit first do the top bit let's go and do the inside of this because you're going to see the inside really need to do the top because we're going to cover that up anyway so to do the edges what you need to do is just to make it look like it's got a little bit of shape just go in so it's dark on one side and then dark on the other side and you want to leave a little strip in the middle 
got the lighter strip and it gives it a little illusion of being round. Can you see? So the darker the side. On this side. Like that. So it gives the illusion that this is a light bit down the middle. So you've got like a... Um, so it looks like it's rounded. So there we go. And then what we want to do is pop this piece onto the top. So we're just going to glue that on. Just a little bit of glue on here. Oops. Just stick that on like that. Go down a little bit further. Like that. So then that looks like that look. So that's the back. So you just want like a little half moon at the top underneath. So this is going to be covered up. So what I'm going to do now, I did on my first one, on this one, um, pop some cheesecloth in between afterwards. Um, but on these ones, I've actually put the cheesecloth underneath. Um, so it's sort of like, you can't see like the paper underneath. It gives you um, a bit of a background. So this one is, <coughs> excuse me, I just sort of like coloured that with a bit of green with my um, crepe paper inks that I've made, dyes. I'm going to cut a little bit of this off, like so, random. And then we just stick this down first. Be a bit too much. Let's just chop this end bit off. So this, oopsie daisy. So this goes on first. So it just gives it a little bit of um, depth to it. Okay, so that will stick on first. And what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to pop a little bit of. If you've got any lace which has got like the scalloped edge. Um, I think that looks really nice because it sort of like sits on the bottom. So look, here look, you've got like the scalloped edges on these. Um, it just sort of like finishes it off nicely, I think. Um, so I'm going to pop that on first, actually. Let's just glue a bit of this down. Pop a little strip of glue on there. Pop this along. I stick this down with I stick this down with glue stick so I'll go all over it with some glue stick like this and then just randomly pop this on like so because I don't have any sort of like leaf punches or anything like that I've just sort of like coloured this green and put it under so it looks a bit sort of um, like you've got a bit of greenery underneath. There we are. Looks a bit messy at the moment but we're getting there. Okay. So now we just need to add the little flowers on top. So what I've got, I've got my little foam um, piece of foam here. Um, and I've got my little flowers. So it's similar when we when I did the video on making your little flowers. It's a bit similar to that. So it's the same sort of punches that I've got. So let's have a look. I did go through these and I did actually go around the edges with a bit of the ink pad. Just to um, take the whiteness off. So if I pick some of these ones out. 
can just have any random ones that you want to, so a bit of colour in there as well. Have some of these ones, that's pretty. So do all your little, don't throw any bits of paper away because they do come in handy um, at some point. So look, I've got some little diddy diddy ones here as well. <clears throat> so all as I did, I got my, a paintbrush. Um, if you've got a little rolly ball one, you can use that as well. But on these ones, I just press the middle look to give them a little bit of shape. Let's have a few more of these here, and these ones. Just push them in. Just give them a little bit of shape on here. Round ones I think I might just stick on as a background. So let's see if I've got any more of those. What's that one? That one there. Let me just make some little dents in there, look. If you don't have any foam, you could just sort of like have it, if you've got some material or something, just fold it up, even a tea towel, just fold it up, just so you've got something soft to press into, um, will probably work. don't think I'll use those, I'll use these ones, look. Another one of those we can use, another little butterfly one. I think these are just so pretty. So just... Do as many as you like. You can also use, I do have the little, um, these little ones as well here, which are the little resin ones that you could add. So you can use any flowers you like. Um, so you can use little resin flowers, you can use little paper flowers, you can use those little roses that are ready made anyway. You could pop on there. So I'm just going to just some of these on other ones have we got oops so there we go let's start off with these Put that that way. okay so I'm going to glue these on with my three in one glue yeah so just give a little bit of background you don't need a huge amount just to give it a little bit of um, depth to it as well. Um, so you can just randomly stick them wherever you like. Yeah. And get yourself covered in glue. Okay, and we've got these little ones. Get my paintbrush and just stick it down so you can see what I'm doing. It's and over the top. A little bit of glue on the back of each one. Pop them down. Just pop them anywhere. And they still look, still look really good. Like I said in my last video, the more you think about it and wonder where they're going to go, the more you um, can't decide. So just go for it, just put them on and stick them down. Oops. This one here. Like that. Okay, look. See? Pretty. And then we'll have some little tiny ones just dotted in between. I will poke them down a little bit with my paintbrush in a minute just to make sure they're stuck down a little bit of glue pop them on look here look just press them down in the middle to make sure they're stuck on there we go few more little ones. So 
little bit of glittery paper would be quite nice on here. I've got the little my glitter glue which I'm going to pop in the middle of the flowers because um, it just gives it a little bit of sparkle which we all need now and again. Oops, you can see. There we go. That will do. So let's just stick these down a little bit better. There, look. How pretty is that? That's so cute. Put those over there. Now in this one, see this one I, can, I don't really can see. I've just got the little the glitter glue in there. Um, on, on this one I've got the glitter glue, I've got some little pearls in there, I've got some little bling in here. So whatever you've got you can just pop in the middle of your flowers. Um, for ease for me, for quickness, I'm just going to pop a little bit of glitter glue in them. Um, so you just pop it in the middle. Um, but please just put whatever you have on there. If you've got some little um, leaves little leaf punches or you've got some die cut leaves that you can use pop those on because they'd look nice if they just come up around the edges as well um, so we just pop these in here so I did sew the other one um, one of mine um, but you don't have to sew it I find it easier if we just glue it together like this, which I should have done in the very beginning. So just go down the edge like this here, either side with your glue. If you wanted to sew them you can, but there's no need because it makes it a bit too heavy because this is quite heavy at the top. There we go. So then we've got a lovely little envelope pocket so pretty stick that down now you can have you can decorate this you can pop little bows on it like this you can pop a little dingly dangly down from it um, so this is the one that I sewed so I just sewed down around the edges I sewed this bit on and around this bit here um, but that one is, is heavier than these so if you wanted something light to go in your journals you don't need to sew um, I think they're just so pretty, so quick. And I was also thinking as well, um, you could do this shape, but you could do like a little cupcake. So if you wanted to do sort of like um, a food journal or your recipe journal, you could do like a little cupcake as well on the top and pop a little recipe inside, or you could actually write the recipe on the back and pop it in. So I thought there was lots, lots of different uses for them. But I thought they were really cute so I thought I'd have to do a quick video for you to show you how I did it um, so thank you guys thank you for joining me again um, please use your imagination and just stick all lots of little bits and pieces on um, and I'm sure you'll come up with some lovely ones but um, I just thought they were just so cute um, and there we are there we go guys well have a lovely day thank you again for joining me um, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.